Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be sharing with you how to spot an original versus a fake Longsha tote bag. If you can remember, this was my very first authentic Longsha tote bag. It is in a mini bilberry color. But before that, I was able to purchase my very first purchase. This is in large graphite. And I was shocked to find out that this one was a good replica. And I just found out when I had this authentic one. And I placed them side by side and saw all the small details. So if you, if you look closely, you cannot really tell right away that one of them is a fake but but if you look very closely and take down uh, take note of all these tiny little details then you'll see that one of them is a good a very good replica so you can see the button on the authentic one is gold, while on the fake one is some kind of faded one. Let's just first open this so that I can place it side by side for you to see much closely. So here you can see that the authentic one is a bit darker the leather flap is a bit darker compared to the replica version so you can see very well that the button on the authentic one is gold is a real gold color while on the fake one or the replica version it is like a faded gold it is a bit closer to silver to the original color before it was given the gold color so you can see the embossing of the logo of the emblem it is very very clear on the authentic one while on the fake one some parts of it are not really very recognizable So here is um, a closer look, so it is very evident on the authentic one. Then, you can also see that on the fake one, the horizontal diamond pattern is in a vertical position, while on the authentic one, it is vertical. The diamonds are vertical. And... Should I tell you? Okay, the stitches compared to the fake one. The stitches on the authentic one is neatly sewn. The thickness of the leather is thicker on the fake one compared to the authentic one. And the, the embossing at the back of the emblem on the original one is not really evident that that is what I'm thinking also but on the the thread that they used a bit different color and look at the indentation it's not really very evident but it's there and this buttons where both of them have have has this original prim wordings they all both got that words so here's a closer look both of them has those words and then if you look at the back portion of the flap you can see 
that both of them have this deep indentation, deep wordings. You can really see it very well. So it's a good job for this very good replica. So here you can see on the authentic one, it's also very clear. can see that the letters are uh, okay I mean both of them looks almost the same now on this handles so you can see that it is darker on the authentic versus the fake one the um, stitchings of the thread it's a bit cleaner on the authentic one so here's another closer look so you can see their details very well so I can some of the designs are moved and I feel that the, the authentic, authentic copy is harder stiffer and on this side where they they paint it so the authentic one doesn't have this this leather edge painting just a few color coloring and on the tabs you can see of course darker on the authentic one so this this is another close up view And on the back portion of the tab, where the, the thread are darker, this is the difference. And now, let's see the zipper pull. So it's almost silver on the fake copy, while on the authentic, it's still gold. really gold and you can see it's really hard for me to get this focused side by side the letters of the long chunk is smaller on the authentic one compared to the fake one even the 1948 okay, letters are bigger I don't see any much of a difference on the horse emblem and you can see on both of them they have this YKK and T letter T on both of them as well so I have a picture you can see it very well so on the replica but the horse is almost the, the icon emblem is almost the same on both of them only the letters and the 1948 is very different and also the 45 they both have the number 45 at the inner zipper portion so what else let's open both see the insides This disc, plastic, plastic disc, on the replica, it's an opaque plastic, white. On the authentic one, it has this clear plastic tab. So, this is a big difference in both of them. So, here is a much closer look. Then, what else should I show you guys? Hmm. The material of the nylon looks the same to me. They, the, the, the replica is not 
glossy at all and it has um, substantial kind of nylon and both of them has these edges will be have this oh wait I remember I should show you the tab inside the tag I mean inside on the authentic one have this tag it's hard to focus so sorry so I'll just place again a close-up look so on the replica I just feel that on this replica the tab the tag is thicker compared to the authentic one thicker plastic tag tag so here is you can see the difference on the letter N and the letter G and the letter R and I and rounder on the authentic one all the fonts and characters are rounder compared to the fake one the replica so that's it for today hope this video is help, helpful enough for you to spot which is an original versus a fake long shot tote bag Hope you enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you, if you haven't already and always thank god for the blessings bye